Eagle, we got you now. It's looking good. Over. Roger, copy. Around angles, uh, S band pitch, minus nine or y'all, plus one eight. Roger, you're a go to con you're a go to continue power descent. You're a go to continue power descent. Altitude now 21,000 feet, still looking very good. Velocity down now to 1,200 feet per second. You're looking great to us, Eagle. Give us a reading on the 1202 program alarm. Roger, we got you. We're going at alarm. Good radar data. We're now in the approach phase. Everything looking good. Altitude 4,200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. I do understand. Go for landing. 3,000 feet. Top alarm. Altitude 1,600. 1,400 feet. Still looking very good. 700 feet. 21 down. 33 degrees. 100 feet. Down at 19. 1201. 1201. Roger. 1201 alarm. We're go. Same type. We're go. Altitude. Velocity. Light. In and down. 220 feet. 15 forward. Five and forward, come down nicely, 200 feet. Four and a half down, five and a half down. 60 seconds. Lights on. Down two and a half. Forward. Forward. At 40 feet down, two and a half. Picking up some dust. Four forward. Four forward, drifting to the right a little. At Hey. Contact light. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Tranquility base here. The Eagle has landed. Through the window of the Eagle, Armstrong and Aldrin see what no human eyes have ever seen before. Their spacecraft casts a long shadow across the undisturbed dust of centuries. Seven hours after landing, after careful preparations for later ascent were completed, Armstrong opens the Eagle hatch and begins his climb down to the surface. footsteps on this strange new world must be taken cautiously. The moon has only one-sixth the gravity of Earth. The nature of its surface was still unknown. I'm going to step off the limb now. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Once on the surface, Armstrong scoops up a small sample of lunar dust and rock, precaution against the possibility of an emergency takeoff. According to plan, astronaut Aldrin now descends from the Eagle. He and his equipment would weigh 383 pounds on Earth. Here, they weigh about 66 pounds.
for a brief moment, the first men on the moon stand and look at the stark, lonely landscape around them, an experience which no one before them can share. But there is much to be done in the limited time which they can stay on this airless, cloudless satellite of Earth. This sheet of metal foil traps and holds particles from the sun, the so-called solar wind, or barrage of solar energy, which constantly strikes the moon's surface. The results of this experiment will be taken back to Earth to reveal new secrets to anxious scientists. An American flag is left behind on the moon, together with medals honoring American and Soviet spacemen who lost their lives in earlier space tests, and a small disk carrying messages of goodwill from 73 nations on Earth. A plaque on Here, men from the planet Earth first set foot upon the moon July 1969 A.D. We came in peace for all mankind. <laughs>